Hi guys, welcome back and thanks again for tuning in. This is James from Bunkers here and I've got something really exciting. These are the brand new tailor-made high toe wedges. I'm gonna hit a number of shots around the greens and just show you how much spin and control you can really generate with them. So the tailor-made high toe three wedge is designed for versatility. It has a milled grind made from a soft 8620 carbon steel. With this sticker on the face, once this is removed, because it is a raw face, it will start to promote rusting. Now that what the rusting will do is give you that little bit of extra grip when making contact with the ball, just giving you more spin and control around the green. Now on the screen, as you can see, there is standard bounces, low bounce and high bounce. Now the high bounce comes in a 58 and a 60 degree and that bounce is a 13 degree. The low bounce comes in a 58 and a 60 as well, but that bounce is a seven degree. The standard bounces range from a nine degree bounce to 10 degree bounce, and those come in a 50 all the way up to 60 degree. Now for these brand new high toe wedges, now the performance you get out of these is incredible and they only retail for 139 pounds each which is a fantastic price for something which is so high performing. At Bunkered, we test all of our clubs with the number one ball in golf, the Titleist Pro V1. Okay, so I've got the 58 degree in my hand. Now, one thing I will say straight away, now as soon as I drop this down, it looks massive. And now what I mean by that is the club face looks really big. Now that's just because of the scoring lines which go all the way from the heel all the way across to the toe, which you won't necessarily find in a lot of lob wedges these days. However, what it does do is because 66% of golfers actually hit the ball closer to the toe. So with those scoring lines going further across the face, you've got more, even more grooves to, to play with just because of what the average golfer does. So I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna hit three shots here from 20 yards. I'm gonna hit it with the, the 58, then I'm gonna to go to the 54 and then the 50 degree as well and see how we go. Whoa, did you see, <laughs> see the stuff on that? Flipping heck. Oof. Now that one I kind of caught the ground, but with the camber of the bottom of the wedge, it kind of just nips through still. Really good. And that one again, just a little bit heavy, but got away, got, got away with it. So overall lob wedge, I mean, a foot, a foot and a half, a couple feet. Can't really complain with that. That's, that's not bad at all. So I've got the 54 here. Now, again, 20 yards. Just gonna, gonna see how this performs. Now this should shoot out a little bit lower. Oh, that hit something, jumped right a little bit. I'll hit one more. Here we go. So you can really feel the spin. Get in, come on. Oh, I was so close. But you can really feel that spin and grip off those micro rib grooves, unbelievable. All right, now we've got the 50 degree as well. Now, this is obviously more of your gap wedge. Um, from 20 yards out, this is probably gonna be a club that you use just to kind of hit a little bit lower, kind of skid it up and try and get a little bit of zip to, to control it. So let's see, let's see how we get on here. That rolls out, that could be pretty handy. Come on, that's a bit better. Oh, spin on that. Okay, lob wedge, sand wedge, and the 50 degree gap wedge. Out of, out of the three of them, I would probably say from this kind of lie, you'd probably want to play it a little bit lower. So the 50 is probably gonna be the, the better choice. But one thing I will say, the control and the grip off the face is really, really good, really good. So far, very impressed. We have found ourselves on the beach. However, we have the trusty high toe here to get us out. So I'm gonna hit a couple shots and see how much kind of spin, grip we can get. And I'm just gonna attack the flag. 
and see how we go. Now, I will say my bunker game is not the strongest. Until now. <laughs> That's pretty handy. Let's try try again. Actually, I'm going to hit this from this plug lie. Let's see how we do from here. Open it up a bit, get underneath it. Uh, we're out, we're on the green. Not too bad. Quite easy to get un underneath, which is good. I'll hit one more from here, give myself a little bit of better lie. Let's give it a bash. Well, yep, let's stop there. <laughs> What I will say is with, with the versatility and the ability to open the face of the 58, it really does when you sit, when you kind of sit, sit it behind the ball in the bunker, you just feel like you can just slide right underneath it and just pop it up. Really easy to play from bunkers and definitely all kind of types of lies as well. We've got about 75 yards here. Um, for me, I'd probably use, use a lob wedge. So we're just going to see how much these really spin. Oh, that felt quite nice. Oh, definitely stopped fairly quickly. A little bit better. A lot more spin than I was expecting. But you can really feel those grooves just cutting into the back of the ball. Probably a bit better. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, 75 yards with the lob wedge. This thing is just gripping, really, really gripping. So much check on the ball. It is fantastic. Okay, so I've got my sand wedge, 54 degree here. We got about 110 yards to the flag. I'm gonna really give this, you know, the full beans and see how much spin we can get. Let's uh, let's give it let's give it a crack. And just hit it straight over the back of the green. <laughs> Come on. Wow, stops pretty quick, that's for sure. It's a better shot. God, it stops so fast. Ooh, got some spin on that. Again, really, really nice. Uh, I mean, the, the spin you get off the grooves is just incredible. And the, feel, and the feel as well, you can just feel the ball just kind of glide up the grooves. We've got quite a difficult shot here. Obviously, the classic flop shot over the bunker. So, we're going to put the 58 to the test and see what we can what we can achieve really. So I'm just going to open open the club face a little bit. Now the great thing about this, the leading edge is so tight to the ground that when you open it, it still it still looks great behind the ball. So automatically, I feel pretty confident about getting this up and over and just absolutely smoking it. Oh. I mean, I'll take, that, I'll take that any day of the week. Good thing the pin was in the way. Bet you can't do that again, but we're gonna try. Nope, told you I couldn't do that again. I got so excited about the first one, that second one was just absolutely pants. Pretty good. You could really feel the spin, the spin on the grooves there. Those ribs really digging into the back of the ball. The first one was great. The second one, that was probably human error, to be honest. But the third one, yeah, really, really, really good. You can definitely feel those grooves biting into the back of the ball. Well, there we have it, guys. The brand new high toe wedge from TaylorMade. 
absolutely fantastic around the greens, really forgiving, really versatile, so much spin and control, so much fun to use. I really highly recommend these as being a great choice to put in your bag. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and we'll see you next time.